Here's a review of a 2021. This is from the 2021 Hot Wheels B case, and this is the Dodge van. And you might not guess it, but this is from the Hot Wheels Drift series. Yeah, maybe not what you're expecting. Uh, a Dodge van in the Hot Wheels Drift series. So uh, there is an entire culture of Dodge van drifters in Japan. That's a thing over there. And uh, this new model, this casting designed by Ryu Asada, uh, captures the spirit of that. So we have this drifting Dodge van. And uh, you do see it says Ryu on the back. That is the designer. And if we get really close, uh, you may be able to make out it says 2021 Hot Wheels Drift or HW Drift on the back there. It's pretty hard to read. Uh, this one's got a couple of black spots on this seafoam green paint that looks like it may be uh, some weathered paint, although the rest of the paint's pretty clean. Um, then there you see the Dodge logo, Mopar, and Moon Eyes, and of course the Hot Wheels logo as well. Um, it's got the front door and then the double doors there on the side. And if we take a look at the front here, um, this is, adjust my camera just a bit, uh, but if you look at the front, the grill, this is a uh, this is a third generation Dodge van. So these were made from, uh, I believe, 94 to 2003. So not exactly sure what year bottle this one's supposed to be, but uh, one of those within that range. It's got a nice chrome bumper and nice detail on the headlights and the grill on the front as well. You can see some of that detail, another little um, black spot, paint chip, I guess, off the front there. But the grill is what gives it away as far as the year model or the generation that it comes from. And then here's the other side, only one door on this side, that's the driver's door. You may notice there's a lot of chrome on the inside, we'll get to that in just a second, but let's take a look around here to the back. And it's got two doors on the back. Windows are uh, painted over there. Okay, so take a look at the inside. It's got a clear roof, a uh, window for a roof, and you see a go-kart back there. So I think the story goes that uh, somebody started using Dodge vans or maybe multiple people were using Dodge vans to take their motorcycles to the racetrack because they would fit back there. Uh, it was perfect size for carrying their motorcycles wherever they wanted to go. And then one day somebody got the idea to uh, take their, their Dodge van out on the track and try to start drifting it. And uh, there were a few laughs that followed, uh, but then they actually started customizing these and turning into legit drifting vehicles and uh, that's where that craze took off but you do see the go-kart there it looks a lot like uh, one of the um, go-kart models made by Hot Wheels and then there's it looks like there's a couple of wheels uh, underneath that underneath the go-kart and then I don't know how much detail you can see of the cockpit there uh, but it looks like you've got a stick shift and maybe an e-brake there, uh, the hand e-brake that a lot of drifters use. And uh, just a lot of detail in the cockpit. I know it's kind of hard to see on the video, uh, but there is a lot of detail there. So there's a lot of thought that went into this casting. I think it's pretty cool. It's definitely different. And uh, you know, if you just take it for face value. Uh, Hot Wheels made a mid to late 90s Dodge van, uh, then it may not be that exciting, but when you realize you know, exactly what it represents, then it's actually, uh, it's got a pretty cool story behind it. So uh, that's the Dodge van. Uh, and 
That's one of the new models for 2021, fresh out of the B case. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.